Now we have to find the roots of quadratic equation 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 by factorization method. In this equation, the coefficient of x square is 2, coefficient of x is 1 and the constant term is minus 6. To solve this equation by factorization method, we have to split the middle term in two numbers, in two numbers such that their required product is product of first and last term that is 2 into minus 6 which is equal to minus 12 and sum of these two terms means sum of these two numbers should be equal to the coefficient of x in this case coefficient of x is 1 so the required sum of these two terms is 1 therefore Available options for such type of two terms are 6 and 2, 12 and 1, 3 and 4. But since the required product is minus 12, if sign is minus, that means out of these two factors, one is positive and one is negative. Since one number is negative and one number is positive that means their difference should be 1 the coefficient of x therefore the perfect option is 3 and 4 their product is 12 and their difference is 1 since the middle term is positive the middle term is positive that means in required numbers bigger number should be positive and smaller number should be negative so that we will get middle term as positive therefore the required numbers to split middle term are minus 3 and plus 4 so that their sum means their difference is plus 1 which is the middle coefficient coefficient of x and their product should be minus 12 which is the product of first and last coefficient 2 and minus 6 therefore in second step we have to write the first term 2x square as it is we have to split the middle term plus x as minus 3x plus 4x minus 3x plus 4x and the last term minus 6 as it is is equal to 0 now by taking x common from first two terms we get x into in bracket remaining terms 2x minus 3 and by taking plus 2 common from last two terms we get plus 2 into in bracket 2x minus 3 which is equal to 0 since the bracket 2x minus 3 is common in these two terms therefore by taking 2x minus 3 common we get in other bracket x plus 2 so that product of these two brackets is equal to 0 therefore either first bracket 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or second bracket x plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore Solving the first equation, we get x is equal to 3 upon 2 and solving the other equation, we get x is equal to minus 2. Since required roots of this given quadratic equation are 3 upon 2 and minus 2. These are two roots of the given quadratic equation.